We're strong people from the land, and we got to continue to help these people so we can rise as a nation. James Cross was once in recovery. Who's you? How you guys doing? Now he is volunteering at the wall to help people find treatment. We're no better than they are. We're just making better choices. We're giving them hope, inspiration. I work alongside James with um, Natives Against Heroin also. Yeah. So, you know, we've been out here with um, with these people since the camp grew from like about 10, 15 tents at the most. Yeah. And it's grown to 136 tents we counted yesterday. I was homeless for 10 years, 10 plus years. What was the... I was in and out of shelters, on the streets, in tents like this. You know, that's what I'm giving back right now. And that's what we do out here. We try to get these people invested in their lives because we understand, you know, from being where they're at to where I am today, it's, it, it, it takes a person to be motivated for change, to want to do better. You know, this is not a life that I wish upon anybody. This is hard out here. Yeah, obviously. This is rock bottom. Yeah, two nights ago we had to take her off life support. She had really bad asthma that she was dealing with in the camp here. It was her asthma attack. I saved her a couple of times out here. You know, when you're out here in that lifestyle, you know, you, that that's the last thing you're really worried about as far as taking care of medical concerns. How many lives have we saved doing uh, Narcan training? Yeah. You know, no one else can say they've been out here to help it do that, right? So what we're going to push is for our chapter to continue to do the outreach over there and to do the security. The group Natives Against Heroin is working around the clock in the middle of all the tents, assisting with medical needs, distributing water and food, and trying to provide security. We push out the dope dealers as much as we can to confront them, because we say, we don't want you here. The wall of forgotten natives, you know, I didn't want her name to be forgotten just because she was out here and passed away out here. You know, this is our, this is our part of giving back to her. As Native Against Air, and we always say we will meet the relatives where they're at okay. and embrace them and let them know that, yeah, you, we care, you ain't alone. Even at ODs, we go down to the hospitals, we get them into programs, we walk with them, and then they become part of the team because we're the light of, we're the ray of light that they need it, right? I work often with Natives Against Heroin and try to come out when I can to, All right. to help. This is the cook right here, Kelly Potter. Hi. Her and her teammate. Nice. Yeah, I like to be here working with James, you know. These are my people, man. I gotta be out there to help them. We get donations, I make sure everybody gets distributed, gets their fair share. Mm -hmm. We talk to the people. A lot of times in the community, people don't talk to them when they're walking the streets with their backpacks, with their head down, feeling hopeless. You know, we talk to them. They all got dreams of having their own place. You know, they all got struggles that they're dealing with. Everybody's different, but. They all got dreams of having their own place, you know, getting their kids back, whether it be, you know, getting their significant other back or getting a job, all that stuff, you know. They say the only reason you you can't succeed is yourself. So if you believe in yourself and you want to put that hard work and never quit like I did, you'll get it. You'll get it. You got to go out and get it, you know. And so we tell them, we'll give you a helping hand, but we're not going to give you a hand off. You know, that's just, that's just that plan, you know. We got them in shelter. I got people in shelter. Like we got people in treatment, Rule 25. We got them in these recovery programs, and you know, James goes up to Muskowson, and there's a. They just got done having a power up there. A lot of the people from in these streets here that we know, they're up in treatment right now. Nice, good smiles on their face, feeling good, healthy, eating good. Well, right now we're supported. We. Uh by the donations, right? By the donations people are sending up, sending us, and it's going to, uh, for the food, it's going for everything out here, and it's going to pay security, our security team, because it's hard work. You know, because this is a situation we deal with day by day. There ain't no protocol set out here. Yeah. We never went through this, so everything's a, a new day, a new vision of hope a new vision of help. We do it good with a lot of community support, a lot of awareness, what you're doing, you know, about filming us and getting that story, getting that message out there to the people, the community, that do care about the people out here, like we do every day, you know. So that's why we have to make sure that we're leading a good way, in a humble way, in, a, in our cultural way, so that the seven generations say, hey, yeah, I want to do that. I think that's where my heart is in the community. Mm -hmm. I think whenever we're in a struggle out here, living that life and when we turn our life over to recovery and start walking the red road, that positive road, mm -hmm. there's a place in the community for us, you know, it's a different spot and for everybody in the community as far as giving back and helping 
Our Cut. people. Got 50 pizzas, 25 sausages, and 25 pepperoni.